Hello from all of us at Translate Press. Today, I would like to delve further on how easy it is to translate all the existing strings from your website, even the ones that are hidden from the visual editor because they're not a static resource. They can come from all sorts of components in your website, like forums, newsletters, emails, sales logs, even certain plugins and themes. Let's start with a recap about the visual editor. To start translating your website, all you need to do after you've set up your additional languages is to click the translate site button from the front end of your website. I will switch my default language to Spanish to get some visual feedback when I make changes. Next, all you need to do is select any string, this can be anything from links, text, buttons, even images. Then just input the translated version of your text in the to Spanish field. Click on save translation and as you can see, our title was just translated. Next, let's see how we can translate those dynamic resources that I mentioned earlier. Since these aren't available in the visual editor, we'll need to switch to the string translation tab. The first tab it loads up is slugs. If this option is not available to you, you can enable it by going from your dashboard to settings, then translate press and switch to the add-ons tab. From there, select the SEO pack add-on, scroll down, and click on save add-ons. Don't forget that this add-on requires a paid tier of the Translate Press plugin. So from the slugs tab, let's select one of the taxonomy slugs. I'll click on type, insert my Spanish translation on the left side and click on save translation. Same for a post slug. Switch to the post slugs tab, click on your desired string, insert your translation, click on save translation. You also have a get text tab where you'll find strings that come from plugins or themes. These are usually dynamically displayed as a result of submitting a form or another type of notification message. These can also be strings that are only visible to you in the backend, such as in plugin notifications that might not need translation. But let's pick one for example. Let's say a customer has added the product in their cart. A message like this one might be dynamically displayed upon that action. As you can see, there's also a to English field that you can use if you don't like the default wording. And the to Spanish field. In my case, this one is already filled due to automatic translation. So I just need to check the translation accuracy and click on save translation. If you're looking for a specific string, for example, a form notification, you can use the filter by domain section and select a plugin that sends that notification to narrow your results. Next, we have the emails tab that will display all the emails your website sends, including admin and client emails. It works in a similar fashion. You select an email string, insert your desired translation, click on save translation. For more details about translating emails, please check out the video linked in the right corner. There is also a filtering section that is active across all tabs that can further help you narrow your string searches. For example, I can use the filter section to display only the strings I've translated manually. I can do this by leaving only the manually translated field checked, then clicking on the filter button. As you can see, the results include just the last email we've translated together. Next, let's talk about a hidden feature called the regular tab. This tab is hidden by default to prevent the interface from overloading and keeping it clutter free. But you can enable it by going from your dashboard to translate press settings, then switch to the advanced tab. And scroll down until you see the debug section, switch show regular strings tab in string translation to yes, then scroll all the way to the bottom and click on save changes. Now, if you go to translate site and switch to string translation, you can see we have the new regular tab. Here you'll find just about every string on your website, including the ones already translated in the visual editor. You can simply pick a string and input your translation on the left side, or like the other tabs, you can search for a specific string. For example, I want to show all occurrences of a word. To do that, I just need to type the word in the search field, and it will show me all the strings that include the word electrical. This is also an easy way to review all of your website translations from one place. Or look for a certain string without having to browse through your site. In conclusion, 
This feature is especially useful if you've customized the default message for WooCommerce emails for example, or you're looking for a specific string that you just can't find, or you just find yourself not wanting to scroll through all of your website's pages. The string translation option is a very powerful feature that can help you find that pesky string instantly. For more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like if you found this video useful. For more information, be sure to check out our documentation linked in the description. Thanks for watching.